Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men and the topic for this video is identify what is threat and what is not. Another way to put it is justified and unjustified jealousy. What tends to happen in today's jealousy expression, jealousy waves around the world, you know, in couples and relationships, it is that probably 95% of the jealousy that is expressed in couples is non-justified. By non-justified, I mean that there is no real threat on the couple or the relationship. Imagine that, for instance, your girlfriend is having a chat with a colleague, right? And you notice that they are bonding or connecting, emotionally connecting in a way that is great. You know, you see that this is happening. And uh, you know that they are not going to have sex. You know that she's committed to you sexually. And so in that moment where you see them bonding and connecting, you have two ways to go. One of them is to feel threatened, to feel triggered by what you see. And uh, another one is to notice it and be like, cool with it. Be non-reactive to it. And so at that very moment where you see her having this chat, and then you have a moment where you are back home together, how you decide to respond to that situation is going to determine how you are going to connect with each other probably for the rest of the day. If you are back home and you threaten her or you attack her or you challenge her over this conversation that she had with his colleague, you are going to sabotage the connection and compromise the safety in your couple. Why? Because she's going to feel like you are over-controlling her. So, what is really symbolical is that at that moment there, when she's having a conversation with that man, there is no real threat. That conversation is not compromising the strength and the safety of your couple. So basically, if you respond to that, what is going to happen, you are going to be overreactive. You are going to overreact. Overreact means somebody throws a little rock at you and you take a bazooka and you blast them with that. That's overreaction. Okay? It means that your reaction is out of proportion compared with the threat. And this out-of-proportion reaction is going to create a wave of energy that is going to negatively impact on the quality of your relationship with your partner. It's going to hit her. She's going to stop feeling safe. She's going to feel micromanaged or micro-controlled micro by you. It's like you're trying to keep her on the leash. So, you know, this might work for a short period of time. If you have a new girlfriend and she starts seeing that pattern, you know, you might get away with it for like a month, two months, three months, maybe a year. But she's going to start feeling really miserable about it. And at some point, she's going to be like, you know what? <laughs> Give me some space. I cannot breathe. And so this is the thing. It is that if you are really able to identify what is threat and what is not and respond in a very positive way, in a wise way, and decide exactly when it is time to use your jealousy weapons and when it is not. There are going to be lots of moments where you feel inspired or you feel triggered with a strong desire to say something where it's not necessary to say anything about it. Having a conversation with another man is not a crime. If your girlfriend or wife cannot do that in a safe way without getting attacked by you, 
that's going to compromise seriously the quality of your relationship. So what are real threats? You know, what are moments where you go like, okay, now there is a real threat. It's moments where, for instance, there is a new man in her life, like a friend. It could be a colleague again. It could be somebody at work. And that guy is actively pursuing her. And she's positively responding to the invitation that that guy is giving her. For instance, the same situation, they are actively flirting. He's starting to get physically, uh, entering into physical contact with her, right? Having like, you know, his hand on her shoulder, bringing her clothes, doing stuff like that. So physical contact starts so becoming a little bit more threatening. He invites her. He takes her number. He wants her to come on a weekend with her, with him. So this is the idea. The moment you see that happening, there is an escalation of flirt flirting energy. There is an escalation of romantic vibes happening. Then that's the moment where you go like, okay, well, something's going on. So you have different options. One of them is have a shadow check or a check-in with your girlfriend at the moment where you feel it's appropriate or have a conversation with a guy. You can walk to him You say, hey, um, I can see that you like my girlfriend. And, uh, you know, that's cool. I think she's really attractive. But realize we are together. And uh, that's not very cool if you keep on pursuing her. Okay? You see, this it doesn't come from a place of neediness. It comes from a place of power. You use your weapon and you use your control and your power, directive power. You say, um, I would rather you step back, man. You see? It's a very powerful thing to do. Because what you're doing by, at that moment, you are claiming her. You are owning your couple, you are owning your relationship, which is one of the core qualities to keep stability in your couple. So we are talking about positive jealousy right now. You see the difference? So here's the thing for you to do. is like check in your relationship right now. Five, the last five outbreaks that you had, jealousy outbreaks that you had, which ones were real threat on your relationship and which ones were not? Your ex receiving a text message, your, your girlfriend receiving a text message from an ex, that's usually not a threat, okay? It's not something that requires a big emotional blast. Having a conversation with somebody, you see them having a conversation, that's fine as well. Uh, you know, situations where she might put some makeup to go to the gym, that's fine. There is no need to, to have a blast about that, okay? Situations where there is a real threat are going to be situations where there is a bonding experience, an ongoing relationship that starts developing with somebody. So you see the difference, okay? So that's your, one of your first challenges when you have jealousy outbreaks is to identify what is a threat and what is not. I'll see you soon for another video.